Today I'm going to show you how to fold the paper template for the PowerUp 3.0 smartphone controlled paper airplane. Here you can see the airplane already assembled, but let's start from the package. So this is our new packaging, and, uh, and in the packaging you will find two types of templates. One is called the Invader, and the other is the Cardinal. We recommend to always start with the Invader. So you can see that the airplane, the paper comes pre-folded. So initially, just open it up, and you'll see that you have some dotted lines and instructions. You can also scan the QR code uh, for additional information on our website, uh, like printing instruction, etc. But let's uh, start folding. So switch the paper to the other side, and start folding the main wings. So fold one corner and align it to the center fold. Align everything precisely. And every fold and crease that you have, you can always flatten it with the rear of your fingernail. Be sure to always fold everything symmetrically. Feel free at any uh, stage of this video to stop the video and uh, rewind it according to your needs. You'll notice that you have these two little circles that are revealed once you make the fold and what you'll need to do is fold back the point of the triangle back to this little circle and do the same on the other side as well. Now let's align the edge to the bleeding edge of the wing and do the same on the other side. The secret for great performance and a good start is to fold everything symmetrical and perfect. Now let's fold the front triangle and place the point on the center fold and bring it forward until you can see the dotted line that's printed here and make the fold on the dotted line. Okay. Next Fold the leading edge while you hold the triangle with your finger along this line and flatten it. You can open it just to verify that you're folding on the line. You can see here I missed, so I'm going to make a correction and flatten everything perfectly. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay. Be sure to have some tape uh, with you. You can see that we marked tape locations. This is going to hold your leading edge in place and give you a nice rigid aerodynamic wing. And let's do this on the other side as well. Okay, we're almost finished. At this stage, we're going to flip the airplane over and fold it in the center. And you can, uh, at this point, you can check how well you folded. You can see here I missed a bit. You can always align it again and be sure to fold everything perfectly. Next is going is folding the wings. You'll notice that here there's a dotted line and the text saying wing folding line. Be sure when you fold the wing to fold it until you reveal that dotted line and make the fold on that dotted line. Flip it over wing and align the other wing leading edge and wing tip to the initial fold so you get a perfect symmetrical airplane okay now you can you are going to fold the wing tips you can see here dotted line on one side for the wing tip fold the wing tip the wing tip you'll see is folded parallel to the wing fold flip the airplane to the other side and fold according to the fold line of the other wing. Okay, now open the airplane, raise the wings to get a nice dihedral angle, and raise the wing tips so they're vertical perfectly. Okay, perfect. At this point, we're going to install the Power Up 3 unit. We have two parts that we need to install one is the main module, and the other part is the crossbar fiber carbon crossbar. Let's start with the module itself. You'll notice 
on the rear side of the module you have this clips and this fin. Be sure to slide the fin in the groove while the clips grab the underside of the wing. Push it all the way in, tuck it all the way in. Every flight uh, due to crashes etc the location of the airplane may move so always be sure before you take off that everything is in location and that the wing is pushed all the way toward the front. Next is installing the crossbar. The crossbar has these two teeth. Locate the crossbar parallel to your, your main carbon fiber body. Slide the rod between the teeth and rotate it until you get a click sound. Very simple. Slide the crossbar to the rear until you get to the stabilizer line. And you can see that the crossbar will hold the leading edge wings in place, even in very high G forces during a turn or a loop, etc. Next is applying tape on the center body. This is going to hold uh, the, the everything in place centered. You can hold with your fingers the rear uh, rod and tape it in place. Or you can also get help from another person to do this. And now you can see that everything is centered. The rear position of the motor is aligned to the, to the, to the wing and flat on the wing. And everything is in place. What we have left to do now is to cut the elevator. These are the control surfaces that help us trim and do the fine tuning of ascending, descending, and banking right and left. This is a very critical adjustment, and if it's not done properly, your airplane will not fly as expected. So you'll note that we have two surfaces, the elevators. We'll always fold the elevators up or down the same portion, same, same amount. And the rear keel has this little rudder. This is for uh, like uh, big adjustments. We also have the little rudder, the electrical rudder, for fine-tuning adjustments and for turning using the app. So, some common mistakes, uh, the elevators should be raised slightly up and then you should do some trial testing and every time make some very fine uh, adjustments to get the perfect glide. A common mistake is folding the elevators up too much like this, almost vertical, and this will actually cause uh, air brakes and turbulence making the airplane flight performing performance uh, poor due to the turbulence. Another common mistake is folding them down. If you fold the elevators down, just like in a real airplane, you will generate more lift on the rear side and cause the airplane to nosedive. So if you get nosedives, raise the elevators a bit up. If you get a stall effect going up too much, reduce them a bit down. We're going to go into uh, depth regarding trimming process before flight, but just remember as a general rule, poor constructed and adjusted airplane will not fly uh, properly and you always want to test the airplane uh, before you install the module do some test glides if it flies well uh, uh, head on and install the module if it doesn't fly well then you may you probably did something wrong with adjusting and folding and remember that you know you can always fold a new airplane if the airplane doesn't come out well it's very simple just take a sheet of paper and do it and fold it again. So be sure to go to our next video regarding trimming and adjusting your power up 3.0.